good people, aka winners. That's what we do. Hey, that's all we do. Hey, 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 hey. I'm coming to you with another feed, yo. Hey, coming to you with another feed, yo. Pick it, pick it, pick it. <laughs> I don't know what that was. But anyway, as you can see, we have already done the eyes and we did the eyes with the nerve, the nerve. <laughs> no, 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 that's not it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, UD. I'm sorry. But this is the Urban Decay Naked Honey Palette. And I'm so excited about receiving that. And so I am going to be doing a video or I have a video on that. And I also added something under the eye because this blue lash line look was the most requested makeup look that I've received all year long, to be honest. We are now, uh, I'm putting on a primer of which I did a video on. This is the Your Skin But Better Primer by It Cosmetics. I need to remove this because um, we're going into this foundation as we were. <laughs> let me just show you, let, 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 let me just show you. Ooh, so that I may do a thumbnail at the end. I don't know. But anyway, that's what I'm going to use. And dang. So they have some translucent powder in here. They have a foundation in here, which now they, I don't know how they match me. We're going to see. I may try to, I, I do like this foundation. So I may try it. I, I don't know. I'm going to see. Ooh, I don't know. That has a whole lot of olive in there. And dang, I should have used this one. Skin primer. It's moisturizing. Maybe not. I, I may use it in conjunction. Let me see what this is. This is a mattifying primer. Okay, I'm gonna use a little bit of that. Cause remember I told you guys that the IT Cosmetics primer, it's not like the best at pore refining and they didn't say this is either, but um, what did they say? It just says skin primer with Callowin clay. I don't know what that is, but I'm gonna put some more on. Let's just do a little more. Keep that foundation and ooh. That's pretty thick, girl. You never know what you're gonna get from me, and I'm okay with that, because that's what first impressions and stuff is all about. And now, I'm gonna go in with my corrector. Y'all, I, I use this so much, I've, I done jacked up the top. That's probably me squeezing it too much, but anyway, I'm gonna go in with this Makeup Forever corrector. I usually like to use the Urban Decay, but I think I ran out. And so when I was at Sephora, I was like, can I get some Urban Decay uh, the corrector and they were like, yeah, we don't have any and I don't like super dark corrector because it makes me have to work hard and I'm not about that life. Like I, I just need low maintenance makeup. So now I'm just going to take this under here and I am going to let this sit a little bit so that it kind of stays in place because it is a little hydrating and I, I like a mixture of hydrating and mattifying mattifying under my eye. There's a trick to doing eyeshadow in your lower lash line. So I have a video about that too, and I will link it in this video, okay? Now I already have some, but I don't think I use the golden caramel, caramel caramel. But CoverGirl seems to think that this is a perfect match for me because they sent this to me with the concealers. So I'm just gonna see, and I'm probably gonna try it. And if it doesn't work out, I am going to, oh, they be looking, they be looking. They be looking. Now I am about to put all this on and guess what? If it doesn't work, I know how to fix it. I'm gonna see what CoverGirl got to say. Cause I did not, I don't think I used this one. I used something else and this is all the way out of, but the fact that they kind of got close and tried, oh, you all right? You all right with me? So let's just blend it out and see how that goes. Of course, I need to, I can't really see it from this side. I need to come over here. But this is a cool foundation and it smells really fresh. In real life, this is looking okay. But on the screen, baby, I'm looking green. Like it's literally a green screen. <laughs> I'm gonna take my Urban Decay, the Stay Naked, and that is in 70WR. And I am gonna put that on top. And we're just gonna tone it down because this is literally a perfect match. And I don't know, maybe it's just my lights right now. I don't know, Poochie. But anyway, I just love playing the makeup. I love having fun. And a lot of people, y'all, I've been getting a lot of comments too, like, you don't even need makeup, you don't even need it. Baby, listen, I never said I needed it. I said, it's a love thing. I didn't used to like makeup low key, like to just be honest with y'all, I couldn't stand it, I thought it was gross. 
and that's a whole nother story for a whole nother day but i i didn't like makeup at all and look at me now loving it i have yet to find a super bomb concealer from the drugstore other than that maybelline um what age rewind that one is pretty bomb um actually i take that back makeup revolution has a bomb concealer too and um that's about it as far as drugstore now according to covergirl covergirl sent me three concealers okay and we're definitely not using that one that is way like neutral and it's too dark and so then they have this one that gives me a little more olive more like the foundation they sent and then they sent this one which is kind of neutral too maybe i'll mix them i'll just mix them so first i'm gonna go in with this olive one lord i hope this is right let's see oh that's all the way olive i just need it to be thick not super thick but i don't want it to be like runny okay okay cover girl you got you got some coverage in here give it to me the color is and the color is golden caramel and is that the same as a foundation it's the same as a foundation oh wow okay and then this is caramel and so we're going in you can say caramel if you want to but we're going in with this one and this one is a little more neutral i mean it's a little more it has more gold into it but it's neutral too but it's not as uh olivey i can get with it i probably didn't need that much so what i'm gonna do what i've learned is to go on and let that concealer sit and dry a little bit and then bars right there let it dry a little bit and then it sets a little more and it doesn't move as much i don't know about this particular one but that's what i do with my concealers now do, 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 do. so this highlighter though let's talk about it while this is sitting here this is in the shade gilded glory glory okay I don't know if that's gonna do me good with a highlighter but i'm gonna try it on today now this one is i want to try this banana powder now it does have a little puff in it i never use that because that is so unsanitary unless you're gonna be washing it and i'm that's yeah i'm not about to do all that so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put a little bit in this top Co cover girl please come through with this powder please come through and do me good it's like the sifter is hard to get stuff out of here though but this is what the banana powder looks like y'all there you can see the color i'm gonna try it out okay so let's blend this now and see what we get i can tell you the truth though that really does help with concealer to let it sit there that definitely let her sit there i do not like that olive though not too shabby girl let it sit maybe not too long like i did because that, that was a minute and, and she kind of sticking there now and now i got to work i got to go to work on my feet don't let it sit so long like i did it's literally like um for something now and i have church tonight and it depends on how bomb church is okay and my, my makeup might get messed up so i may come back i don't know but that right there okay but you can see that i love y'all see that let me blend that i don't the color is just not like my fave so now let's go in with this powder and i'm just gonna like pop that on <gasps> whoa no okay cover girl what's happening what's happening i feel like it's kind of sitting on there okay wait okay wait but wait you didn't tell me so that powder kind of sticks let me see let me put it right here this is truly a first impression this is ooh, look at that okay i can get with the color though i can get with the color put a little right there let's see blend it out and blend it out i don't need to put a lot that's the dog on sure okay now i don't really like that olive concealer but the concealer is not too shabby like i definitely made it work and i will say that letting it sit there definitely it, it kind of gave you that coverage and let it sit and it's not moving so i'm good with that but i need to get a, um, a brush lord oh this powder is everywhere you guys but you guys know that i have been loving this covergirl powder the full spectrum i've been using this ever since i got it and so i'm just gonna go on top and hopefully that brings everything together because that concealer that whole olive situation mm -mm. 
That's not my zhuzh. Now let's see, let's do a little test on this banana powder. Let me tap it off. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Y'all, I don't know about that powder. It's like sticky. Don't let it sit. Oh my Lord. I don't know about the powder. I would kind of blend that. I wouldn't necessarily bake with that. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little contour on and a little blush, and then we're gonna do this highlight. And I'm gonna open like some windows because put on a fan, it's hot. Now, so my thoughts on this um, whole CoverGirl situation, I'm gonna just tell you the banana powder, I don't know about, I'm thinking that I need to try the banana powder with concealer that I usually use and vice versa. That concealer in a different shade because clearly the one with all that oliveness going on, that's not for me. So I will need to try their concealer in a different shade to kind of really let you know if I'm really feeling it, but I think I pulled it off. I think it's like not bad at all. The foundation is great. Like I've used that foundation before. It's very, very natural looking. And I think I have a video, but um, not that color. Okay. That's why I mixed it with the Urban Decay. Um, their highlighter, y'all, this is the, um, I think it's called Golden Glory. It's good, but you just can't overdo it. All right. For my skin tone, you can't overdo it, but it's cool. It's not as buttery as I would like it, but can I definitely work with it and get away with it? bingo i can um and again for the eye look i have a whole different video on that so you can check that out um the concealer i told you guys i need another color i would like to try it the powder i wasn't really a fan of it it felt like it clinged on to everything but i want to be fair and i want to try that with my own um concealer now will i come back and do a whole video on just using the powder with another concealer probably not but you can follow me on my other um social media outlets to find out like you know my Siki underscore beauty I haven't really been doing Snapchat a whole lot. I've been trying to do these stories here on YouTube. But um, anyway, for the lippy, oh wow, I put it away. I am using a um, a lipstick called um, by Cosette. Um, I think it's called Keisha or Cameron or Carmen or something. It'll be in the description box. And then I topped it with this. Um, that's why my lips are like stinging. Okay, it's plumping. I don't do plumping, <laughs> but it's okay. I don't, I don't need no plumping, but it's all right. This is the CoverGirl, so, not CoverGirl, it's not CoverGirl. This is the ColourPop So Juicy um, Lip Gloss. And this one is just a clear shade. What's the name? It is called Princess Cut. Ooh, like a diamond. Mm. Did I do the daggone thing? I think I did the daggone thing, right? I think I did. But um, that's how I feel about like the concealer. Mm, I did decide to come back. It is almost midnight and um, okay, of course the eyeshadow has kind of bled a little bit, but I don't mind it because I smoked it out anyway. But look at the concealer. The concealer is not bad, y'all. Look at that. got a little creasing <laughs> it's funny the shadows creasing under there but it's okay but look look at the concealer the covergirl concealer is cool i just need a different color it really worked out the highlighter worked out too once everything began to settle it was good the foundation you know i had to mix it with my um i mixed the foundation with my what was it the stay naked urban decay foundation but the concealer, y'all, I'm not a fan of the olive tone, but I am a fan of how it stayed there. And I haven't even blotted. Now, it was, of course, you can see I need to, but um, I think it was almost 5 o'clock when I left, right? And now it's almost midnight, so I haven't blotted at all. And, you know, this is cool. But that powder and that concealer... I mean, it ended up working out for my good, but I don't think I'll ever use those two together again. But I am like tempted to try that CoverGirl concealer in the right shade if they have it, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all of your support. As I always say, I appreciate your ministry. I thank you guys for like liking and for sharing. Even if I don't know you shared, thank you so much for sharing. Thank you so much for telling somebody about the channel. Thank you guys for giving me your feedback and letting me know that this channel has really blessed you and has really like stepped your makeup game up. Because honestly, the whole reason I started this YouTube channel years ago, seven to be exact, was to give back, to give back to the community because I pulled so much from it and I just had bars there. Did you catch that? But I pulled so much from the community and I definitely wanted to pour back into it. And so when I see your comments and, and even when you comment on Instagram and all those other places and you let me know that my videos have had an impact on your life, it's, it's, it's greatly appreciated and it puts a huge Kool-Aid smile. You guys have an awesome, blessed day and I will see you sooner than you think.
Bye. Sicky beauty. Confidence is key. Ladies, you. Oh, it's key. You know what I mean. All right. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Sicky beauty. Confidence is key. You know what I mean. A woman feels good when she's looking pretty. Yeah.